Baltimore don't need another politician. They need a public servant, someone who clearly understand that we work for the public. We work for the citizens of Baltimore, not ourselves, not the mayor, but the citizens of Baltimore. Those are the kind of people that we need in elected office. Liam was born in October 1989. When Liam was born, honestly, I felt it in the hospital room. It was like oh, such a peaceful, peaceful vibe. And everyone who came into my room would remark on it, like, oh, it's so peaceful in here. That's Liam. My mom was the curator of City Hall. And when they renovated City Hall in the 1970s, one of the cool things they did was they activated two art galleries. So my mom would organize these art galleries and would go to the city's print shop to get the items printed for, for these galleries. My father worked for the print shop. That's how they met. So I was the son of two city employees. This is my book I put together when, when I retired. It kind of chronicles my time at City Hall. Hold on here. There we go. There is Liam running around with his little blankie. He would frequently come to City Hall with his father and his older brother, and they would get to hang out. Yeah, this was just um, part of his growing up experience, you know, coming to City Hall. We grew up in a duplex in Northeast Baltimore City. It was a very fun local neighborhood to grow up as a child. It was just great. Well, this is where it all started. 1998, Keys Field. First time I met Liam Davis. Seven years, Liam played and I managed him, I coached him. And the one thing I got to say about Liam, best team player I ever had. Good job, man. I mean, this guy was just always positive, always cheering for the team. I mean, this guy was just a true gem. Very good job. <laughs> we always had a pretty decent team up here at Hamilton, but there would be times where we'd be getting our butts whipped. But Liam be on the bench, let's go, you know, he's cheering, he's clapping, always, always positive. So Liam developed this like fierce love of and loyalty to the city. And this was evident early on. It was like, what's going on? He was kind of, kind of curious for this very young boy. Okay, I'm Liam Davis from Channel 13 News. I remember him when he could read the newspaper, he would be reading articles in the business section about some new building going up. And just be so excited and proud that this was going on in Baltimore. Not every kid is like this, but for me, the city was exciting. You know, the tall buildings were exciting, and the dense neighborhoods were exciting, and the activity, and just seeing like a jackhammer, like doing utility work. As a kid, you're like, wow, like this is so, it's interesting. That's a beauty. But we moved out to Towson, it was the year 2000. I was like 10, 11 years old. Turn off, Nick. The move to the county was crushing. <gasps> Wasting time. Like, I literally did not want to live in the county at all. Liam was not happy, not happy at all. Was he mad because he was just moving away from friends and, you know, I, I get He that. was mad about leaving the city of Baltimore. That's unusual for a child that age. Usually they'll just kind of go with the flow, but no, he was already very, very attached to the city and to his identity of being a city resident. And I'm going to have to ask you to vote for me next campaign. Liam came to my office as an intern. 
When I first met him, I said, this guy gonna be a rock star in my office. I'm not gonna let him get away. And I don't want him in nobody's office or working for nobody but me. I felt really comfortable in city government and I felt at home. Like again, I was returning, I was back in city hall. The chief clerk of the city council retired and I was recommended to be the new chief clerk. Will the escort committee please greet the mayor and accompany her to the chambers? Mr. President, the mayor of the city of Baltimore. That was amazing because from September 2014 to April 2019, I processed every single bill that went through the city council. I was like stamping it, getting co-signers on the bill, I was arranging the desks. I was making sure Jack signed the papers, make sure we hand it off to the mayor's office. Like, I learned the legislative process. Damn Davis, if you could stand, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you have done to make my office shine. On behalf of the citizens of Baltimore, I commend you for all you have done for our city and wish you many, many more years of success. Liam got things done more than some of the council people were able to get things done. It was because of the relationships that he built over time. So in April 2019, I started out at City Department of Transportation. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Again, Liam Davis, Legislative Affairs Manager, Baltimore City Department of Transportation. The legislative liaison is kind of an interface with the elected officials. The emergency outdoor dining program is actually our top priority right now. He was involved with pretty much every legislative effort we've had since he's been in the position. That's kind of the heart of the role. He's helped us engage the public and elected officials to have them support things that we believe are in the best interest of the city. If the bill were to pass, it would impact 87% of our camera deployments. We worked on some of the most meaningful legislation and policy that this city has adopted since I've been in city government. We're bringing in hundreds of millions of dollars worth of road money that the city can use to invest in our aging infrastructure, our aging roads, and our aging sidewalks. As we go through life, there's a short list of people that we run into about whom no one says anything negative. I have never met anyone who has spoken in any negative way about Liam, and I've known him for a number of years now. So I moved to Greektown to rent in September 2012. And I bought the house that I currently live in in January of 2016. And then I became community association president in May of 2016. I first met Liam Davis with Greektown Neighbors Association. He was the president for quite a few years. Whenever we had, you know, a problem when either of us would identify a specific issue that we had seen, we would reach out to Liam. Hey, Liam, how are you? Hey, man. Hey, you know, again, I, I called, we had a water problem on Macon Street, which I called about. Well, we're going to give this a look and just see if there's any immediate things that can be done. I'm going to look for faded signage and damaged signage and try and get that repaired. He sets the example. Liam is the example. Like I said, Liam, the community is, com cleanups. Liam is community service. Yeah, Liam is Greek town. <laughs> Liam is Baltimore. I always felt like Liam came into the world with a purpose. He knew what he wanted to do. But I always had the sense that he wanted to, dare I say, be a hero or help people. Full storm drain. Let's clean the storm drain, guys. You got it? Sometimes there's a, uh, like, glass will get in here. He knows what's up. He sees what people are going through. He lives in the neighborhood that he's serving. He knows what people are experiencing. He's worked on so many levels of the city government that he knows all the resources, but he, because he is regularly among the people that he's serving, he has, he's way more in touch with reality than I think a lot of people perceive politicians to be. I'm ready to make a toast to amazing neighbors, to this amazing neighborhood, to this amazing city. I, I love you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. You're here. You don't come in the city council putting in legislation as a rookie. 
He's not a rookie. Liam already know how to craft legislation, how to get it crafted, and how to get it passed. To be honest with you, Liam, remind me of myself a little bit. You know, I was always a go-getter, always had the good communication with my constituents, with my people, and I got things done. People knew if they called me or called my office, they was getting good and great customer service. Liam gives you good customer service, and that's why we need someone like Liam Davis who truly understands what it is to be a public servant, not a politician, but a public servant. I'm gonna be here the rest of the day. I wanna to talk to each and every one of you. And our platform is being influenced by the people we talk to. This is fluid. Know what the problems are and know what needs to be done to solve them. And instead of the politicians trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, let's talk to these agencies. That's how we solve the problems.